Let me read in here from Cast Magic. Um, I, we're, I'm kind of rushing this video. I'm putting the finishing touches on it now. I wanted to be more creative with it uh, around our nested looping video. I want to bring more um, creativity to some of the tutorials. But right now, the Christmas tree is as creative as it gets as we push this out because I was getting heckled. You know who you are, Channel 83. I owe it to you. It's so it's on me. He's been waiting for this for days, probably longer. But this video shows you our feature of nested looping, which is a very complicated topic. And barely I, as a non-technical person, knew exactly what looping was, right? Because I was always thinking, trigger, action, trigger, action. This is trigger, run through a set of actions, loop again, trigger, run through the set of actions, loop again, run through the trick, and then finish. So nested looping takes it a step further and it allows you to create even more complicated things. So if you want to go into Google search or you want to go into emails like we do in this example, this example I think is one of our coolest examples we've ever given and it is unsubscribing automatically from email newsletters that you don't want to receive anymore. This I think is so cool that you can just build this tool. Like this is some people's Chrome extension or platform, and this can just be one of your 86 workflows you build in TaskMagic. So please, if you like these time-saving tips, please subscribe to this channel. Make sure to like this video. This is as creative as you get, and I hope you like this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use nested looping for you technical home gamers. And if you're non-technical like me, this is just how you build something that will unsubscribe from your email list. I hope you enjoy this. Thumbs up, subscribe, bell, all the three. Thank you guys so much. Hey everybody, so wanted to make a video today showing us the new loop feature, uh, and we'll also be using Go Back. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So we're gonna build an automation that is going to search our Gmail for unsubscribe and then it is going to click the unsubscribe button on all of our emails. So what we can do here is I'll go ahead and go into the TaskMagic app um, and I have an automation already that's going to Google. <clears throat> this was just so I could set up something to start with uh, so that I can add cookies. So I'll go ahead and click back into Chrome, grab these cookies and paste those in the app. So once we did that, I'm gonna grab the URL uh, from when I did the search, and luckily the URL changes to what we searched, so we don't need to do any typing steps or anything. Uh, we can just go directly to this page. So I'll do that, and then I'll click plus and then record. And then we are here. So the way looping is gonna work is it's expecting you to loop um, or at least in this situation, it's expecting you to loop over a list of elements. So we want to go into each email. And one option is we could scrape the link to every email using scrape list, which pushes it all to a Google sheet. And then we could loop through each URL uh, and visit that email. And that's how we've instructed in a lot of other tutorials. But now what we can do is we can scrape a list of all of these elements, basically, all of the, um, all of the different subjects, I guess. And then inside each subject, we're going to be setting up a loop that's going to click the email. Sorry, not subject, email. Um, in the loop, we're going to click each email and then find the unsubscribe button and then click the back button to uh, come back to this page. So I'll go ahead and first scrape a list of all of these emails. So I'm just going to get this entire section right here. And that is good. And then I'm going to set up my loop and we're gonna loop over the elements that we just pulled from step two. And then inside each loop, we want to record a click of the email. And then let's go ahead and do that click really quick. And then we wanna record another click. And this is gonna be fine by text, so it doesn't really matter where we click, but I'll go to the bottom for now. And then we'll do this, advanced settings. Enable find by text and make this unsubscribe. And that is it. So what this is going to do is it's going to go to Gmail, scrape all of the emails, and then it's going to loop over each one, 
click the subject line of each one and then click unsubscribe. Um, the problem with this is if we don't have a way to get back to where this scrape happened. Once we're in this page, we don't really have a way to go back. We could either record a click of this go back button, um, which isn't available on every site, and I didn't realize that until now that we could do it here. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here. Um, actually, sorry, this is available in the builder. Uh, we're gonna say we're done, and then we're gonna click here, and we are gonna add the go back step. So what'll happen is we're gonna go to Gmail, scrape a list of the elements, and then we're gonna loop over each element and click the first item in the list, and then find unsubscribe, and then go back to the next one. Let's actually add a delay here also, uh, just like 0 0.05. So that is all we need to do to loop. So again, I think I just reiterated, um, but this loop is basically running for each element we find. So I think in my example it found 50 because we have 50 emails listed. That means this loop is gonna run 50 times. Instead of the manage loop trigger where you would specify it, this is just gonna loop for every possible result. So let us run this. All right, this is probably gonna run for quite a while because I think it's gonna go through 50 different ones. Um, but we'll just let it start here and we can see it go to different ones. So we clicked here and then we're going to wait for a second after we click the find by text and then move on to the next one. So clicking something, going back, clicking something, going back. So looking forward to seeing how you guys use loop. Um, let me know how else this, ha how else this works in your use cases. Um, I guess how else you guys are benefiting, benefiting from it, things like that.